Welcome back to Big Purple Couch, and I'm sure all of you recognize this gentleman, our new USC president, Adam Fernell. Welcome Ooh. back, Adam, to the couch. It's good to be back. Yeah, you're back here as president now, not as a candidate anymore. It's a, so how did the elections go for you? I mean, after the night, you were so like, star you were just going crazy when you were on the couch after your name was announced. What did you do after you found out that you won? Uh, I spent a little time, I guess, talking to uh, this year's president about what the, what the job was going to be like. Right. Maybe not uh, getting all of the details, but I, <laughs> we had a little talk and I uh, got some encouragement from him and, and some kind words from Andrew. Nice. And uh, then went off and I uh, was with some of the members of my campaign team and uh, members of my family and stuff. I had quite a contingent there, so <laughs> it was a good night. So. For sure. Who was the first person you called, if I can ask, when you found out that you won? I actually didn't, I didn't call anybody, oh, I actually, okay. to be honest with you, I just, uh, I, I had advice to just like leave my phone in my pocket and deal yeah, with okay. it the next day, so I tried to do that, and um, to be honest, it's a pretty big blur, the number of people that I saw afterwards, and there are a lot of people that I owe a lot to, and a lot of people that I, hopefully I said something meaningful to afterwards, but I, I probably still have a lot of catching up to do in, <laughs> in terms of thank yous, so. Understandable. Yeah. Sure, I noticed your Twitter and Facebook was just bombarded. There is no way you could possibly reply to all those comments. But now, even though you are president, you won the election, you still can't do anything as president yet. When's the first date you can actually start your presidential duties? That's a good question. You'll probably have to ask Andrew how much uh, leeway he's going <laughs> to give me in the next couple months. But um, I'm going to start doing a little bit of job shadowing uh, at the end of this week and then move into a transition period in the month okay. of May and just sort of slowly start taking on a little bit more responsibility. I think June 1st is, is when uh, next year's executive will take over all the decision making and things like that. So right. um, we'll have a little bit of time to get acclimatized to the job and figure out what we're supposed to be doing. So. For sure. And uh, which part of your campaign are you most excited about putting into action? Oh, good question. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I think like the big, the big thing for me, um, I'm most excited about sitting down with some of the cultural clubs and trying to figure out how we can um, better support them as the USC. I think it's something that we didn't get a chance to talk about maybe as much as we would have liked to in the campaign, but um, it's something I've been really inspired by the time I've spent with these people and the way the presidents of those clubs really inspire their communities and, and right. our community leaders and not just club presidents. So I'm really looking forward to talking to them and figuring out, you know, what we can do for them. And is it a little bit bittersweet having to leave Huron president, come back to Western? What, what's your emotion with that? Uh, it's, 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 I wouldn't say it's bittersweet. I, you probably can't quite take all the Huron out of the boy. And That's true. <laughs> I, I don't think that um, anybody would want to try and take it all out. But um, I've always been a Western student, and I think I'll, I'll always be a Western student. So I don't really see it as leaving Huron. Um, I just see it as, as coming over here and um, maybe spending a little more time in the UCC than, uh, than uh, across Western Road. So I'm looking forward to it. For sure. Now that all the excitement's over from elections, what would you say are you most excited, like happy that it's over? What was the most stressful part about being in the election? Um, I think the most stressful part was was always having to try and analyze how you were coming across as, as a person, whether or not people were um, recognizing your true emotion or recognizing exactly what you were trying to convey because uh, a lot of the time when you're communicating to a big audience, um, you're not quite sure what people are thinking when you say certain things and if you're articulating things properly. So it's kind of nice. I know I'm going to have to do that as well next year and make sure that I'm communicating clearly, but it's nice to maybe have a little bit more freedom to uh, really start saying the things that are, are really exciting to me. So um, it's nice. and. To be honest, I said this on the couch, I think, on election night, but <laughs> it's not such a bad thing to be back in class because yeah. I was starting, after yeah. the four weeks, I was starting to sort of feel the buildup of all of the exams and right. essays and things that I was sort of putting off. So yeah. it's nice to try and get back on top of those things. For sure. Well, thank you so much, Adam, for coming back on the couch. It's great to have you here during the whole election period, and I'm looking forward to the 2012-2013 year to hear lots more from you. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. you. Got your fans in the crowd ready to go. Be sure to stick around for more here on Big Purple Couch.